So I got this idea for a lamp. I made a simple drawing in paint and I took it to the workshop. The whole idea was to make it look and work like a vintage crane. The parts had to have a whole bunch of holes and grooves for guiding wheels and joints, so I glued them together from plywood in the shape they would have to be. I decided to make as many parts as possible from wood, including the guiding wheels. Then it was just a matter of gluing everything together. Of course the first batch came out crooked as I didn't pay nearly enough attention when I clamped it together. But with a ton of sanding I managed to save the parts as I would hate to go back and have to do it all over again. After gluing I noticed that everything was a bit tighter so I had to sand it even more. Other than that it was just a matter of gluing the parts together and bolting the joints and wheels. This is really the kind of build where cutlists make everything 10 times more efficient, but sometimes I find it easier to solve problems while holding the material in my hands. Like, for example, I needed some width to the base to keep the lamp from falling over sideways, so I added some wheels instead of making a wider base. I just think this adds to the look instead of looking like something I have to do to make it work. I was considering making some wooden belts like on an excavator, but that would have taken several hours of extra work. I would really like to go into detail on how I made all the levers work, but that would take a level of English speaking skill I do not possess. What I can tell you is that the cable for the outermost lever have to pass through the fulcrum point of the levers before it, to avoid being tightened or loosened when the levers move. This makes the movement of each lever more isolated and gives for better control, something that would have been necessary if this was an actual crane but in this case it just makes it look more advanced, which I like. In the end I was really happy to see that it actually worked since I didn't do any calculations or measurements on beforehand. Even though the moving parts is more of a gimmick than something that will be necessary for the lamp to work in everyday use. Now I will leave you with the video and I hope you enjoy.